Hello, this is Big G Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Crimson Gem Saga! Since last time, I made my way all the way up here to the Dead Man's Spire, but before going inside, if you go around here, we can get some treasure that we'll absolutely want to have coming up here. Also, one thing that I want to do with Spinel here is learn a new ability for her. Deadly Attraction. It is a really good ability. 30 MP is a bit costly, but it does deal quite a bit of damage. And if you're lucky, you might even be able to confuse an enemy with it. So it gives you a bit of crowd control. But if, it, if you don't confuse the enemy, you just, you're not completely hosed and wasted a turn or something like that. At least you get something out of it. So I like using that to start a battle, to try and thin the enemy's numbers, and if I don't confuse an enemy, I'll usually follow up with like a cross slash or something to get the job done. Also, Spinel is a very fast character, and she has a very high will stat as well. So she's basically your DPS character. And she gets a lot of crits, too. So how do we get into this place? But we wanted to go into the tower, not over there. Well, brute force isn't going to really help with that. Mm, maybe. Unless they found another way to get in the place. I mean, the one guy had wings. Now, one thing to keep in mind coming up here is if, once you enter here, you're not going to be able to leave for a while. So if you haven't gotten some angel feathers, like I bought three of them earlier, you might want to go back and get those. Three of the angel feathers in addition to what we get here already. So I've already taken all that into account and everything, but yeah, can't get out of here now. Hmm, that's weird. Well, we should probably find treasure. And some people were asking me, Ichi Bailey, why didn't Killian go back to report to the Excelsior Force? And I'll just tell you, if you went back into their office, no one's there except the one guy who was there before, and you can't even talk to him. I think the Excelsior Force was pretty much entirely wiped out in that massacre. So, I think there's pretty much no one to report to. So, there's, yeah, nothing we can really do about them. So, let's get moving then. Because she saved your life? Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose. Ah, okay. Well, yeah, this isn't exactly a military. Alright, let's take a look around. Yeah, all the enemies are going to still look like Galorans on the exploration map. I just want this guy to turn around. Yeah, I kind of saw him coming like that, but it's like, whatever, I don't want to wait forever. Okay, new enemy here, Red Claw. These guys can poison you. Don't scare now. But if they do that, don't worry about it. Just finish the battle and move on. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to need a little help to finish that guy off. I hope this will work. Hey, all right. I wasn't sure if that would be enough. So yeah, status ailments wear off at the end of a battle. Including poison, unlike almost every other RPG. There it is. Yeah, whenever you get afflicted with it, you get a little skull over your head. But we'll be fine. I may want to heal her, though, after this battle. I want to see how much HP she's retreated. got. Yeah, too bad I couldn't get one of them confused, but... Well, you take what you can get. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, you could use a little bit of healing there. So let's go with our food. And you want to use your food if you're going to heal outside of battle. Because you can't use them during battle. Unlike the potions. 
that we got here. So I want to save those for more emergencies. Okay, come on. Turn around. Ha-ha! Got him. Okay, new enemies here. There is nothing remarkable about these guys. So I'm going to see if I can just confuse one of them. Ha-ha! Gotcha! Oh, he's almost dead! <laughs> Holy cow! So yeah, just like every other RPG, if an enemy is confused, they'll start attacking a random ally of theirs. They can't attack themselves, and they can't attack you while they are confused. So part, that's part of what makes the confusion status so powerful in this game, because once you get down to just one enemy, they just won't be able to do anything. Let me, because the game won't let them attack themselves. So, I mean, if you get confusion on an enemy, that's it's practically it instant death against them. But as you can see, it's not perfectly accurate either. So there is a bit of a trade-off to that. So yeah, yeah. Deadly Attraction, definitely one of my favorite abilities to use in Chapter 1 here. Okay, so let's see. How are you doing there? Hmm. I can give you biscuits to just top off your HP there. That should be good enough. And let's make a backup save just in case I don't get what I want coming up here. Yeah, this area is not entirely long, narrow hallways. I mean, there are some, like where we started there, but... Well, now we gotta figure out where to go. Oh. Yeah, we kind of noticed that with all the dead bodies outside. How did someone clean them up? Maybe they just all... Well, there's fire and everything around there. Maybe they just all burnt into ash. And then the wind carried it away or something. I don't know. Well... Yeah, they're monsters. What did you expect, dude? Yeah, it seems kind of weird how they have sprites for the enemies that they could use to represent them outside of battle, but they always only use the Galoran sprites. I mean, I guess that's just to make it more random, so to speak, so you don't know what you're going to be facing every time. So I guess they did that on purpose. For boss time! Against enemies who are pretty darn weak, really. Hmm. Yeah, let's go after the Glorans first. Oh. These guys are a bit stronger than I remember. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just go with regular physical attacks for now. They're not that much stronger than they usually were. Yeah, they're probably a few levels higher, but that's okay. Okay, so we got more party members. And let's see. The fire spell that he has is a bit more powerful than the ice spell, so I would rather go with that. Hmm. Yeah, let's go after the blob there. That guy's a bit of a tougher customer. And I don't think he could have finished off the... Or killed the Glorin there. Not with just one shot. So you're probably going to see me start relying a lot more on my regular physical attacks now that we have more party members. So, you know, I don't need... I, I don't necessarily need an enemy to... Uh, die in one hit. Hey, all right. We got the Joker card that I would have wanted. First try. And the Planetum Medallion, which unfortunately we can't use because it increases the rank of a skill from rank four to rank five. So we're not going to be able to use that until like the end of chapter two. So we're going to hold on to that one for a while there. Who are you guys? By the way, you do know that I could have handled that by myself, right? Oh, okay, well, sorry. You 
In great? You'd be a meal right now if we hadn't saved you. Probably. Stop it, you guys. Let's at least get acquainted before we start arguing. I'm Spinel, treasure hunter extraordinaire. And this is Killian, a chevalier. Who are you? <sighs> treasure hunters. I'm Henson, a mage from Habsburg Magic Academy. Well, yeah, I could see that. Ah, Habsburg Magic Academy. Never heard of it. That's where all the elite Imperial wizards graduate from, right? I could sense your powerful aura. Well, yeah, he's a mage. You sensed my aura, huh? Well then, that must mean you're leading this treasure hunt. You're a heck of a lot sharper than that guy. You want to see sharp? Let's see if you like how sharp this blade... So what's an elite mage <laughs> doing in a place like this? Obviously you're not on a sanctioned mission. <laughs> how did you even get in here? Honestly, I don't care about your reasons. Yeah, we'll just leave you alone. But both you and I know that it's too risky for you to travel alone. So why not join forces? It's dangerous to go alone. I don't need your help. I was just a little winded back there. Ah, okay, bye. Have it your way. I guess a powerful mage like you won't need to be saved anymore. Probably. I just hope you don't end up getting surrounded again. <laughs> Fine, I'll join up with you guys. Hey, hey, all right, more party members with Henson. And, well, being a pure mage, we definitely want to put him in the rear so he'll take less damage there. Let's see, how's your HP doing there? Hmm, let's see. Yeah, let's go with a couple biscuits here. That ought to do. And I would also like to see if I can learn new abilities here. Okay, I want to go to learn Scorch, so that way we can deal quite a bit more damage than the Char spell does. And there's some enemies that I'm pretty sure are weak to fire, although I can't know that without the ability to... Well, without a particular item that would help point that out. So, yeah, we get a little more powerful ability here, and he has a lot of MP. So, yeah, feel free to go nuts with his spells. Okay, what else did we got? Ah, yes. So, yeah, we we can't even use it for quite some time, uh, the medallion there. So, yeah, it seems really odd that they would give you the most powerful one this early in the game. I, I just wonder if it's like a bug or something. Now, about Henson, though, he doesn't have a whole lot of HP. So, let's see. I'm just figuring what I would want to give it to. Hmm... We are going to get another staff for him in the very near future. So actually, let's wait on these Galoran cards here to boost his HP. He does need it more, but... He, well, we're going to get new equipment for him soon, too, anyway. Let's see. Now, with Spinel here... Let's see. I think that's the one I want. Yeah, let's... Yeah, I can reveal this. Why not? Let's go do that right now. So anyway, what you do when you're learning new skills is you need SP in order to reveal the ability, like this one. You can't even tell what it is without looking up a chart online. And then you have to pay SP to learn the ability. But if you revealed an ability, but you don't really care about it, you could just move past it without paying the full price for the ability. So that's pretty nice. So. You could just focus on the abilities you really care about. But I definitely want to get Toxic Needles before reaching the next boss fight. So we should be pretty good in that respect. Whoa. Whoa, hey. Stay away from me, man. Stay away from the summoner. Okay, let's take a look around. There are some branching paths here. But most of them just lead to one room. They probably just have like one treasure chest at the end. So I will show you where the branching pads are. Also, I used a cross slash with Killian there. So let's use a milk to restore a little bit of his H or MP. So that way he can use it one more time before he gets another level up. Our HP is doing fine for now. And for satisfying my curiosity, well, we just have the one treasure. Oh, hey, nice. 
and a couple more angel feathers that we would like to have. For the boss fight that I'm concerned about, you really only need six of them, but I like having seven anyway, just to give myself a little margin for error. But they are pretty expensive, just like everything else in this game. I would rather that guy not see me as I go past him. If I can have a choice about the matter. No! What I was hoping for was to find another enemy here and run into them before the other enemy caught up with me, but I forgot there is no enemy along here. Whoops. But I do need to heal up a little bit there, so... Yeah, just to top off HP, I like using the biscuits. They aren't actually a food item, though. And for some reason, you can use them outside or during battle. So, just something to keep in mind there. Whoa. By the way, with the abilities that I've got, I've learned now for Spinel and Ensign, I would not use bronze medallions on them. I usually prefer to save my bronze medallions for mass damage attacks like Cross Slash there. Okay, so how much SP? Yes, we got enough. Okay, yeah, you definitely want to learn Toxic Needles. Not that I'm going to use it during random battles, but it can be useful coming up here. Not right now, but soon enough, fear. Soon enough. Where'd all the enemies go? Ah, there you are. Oh, I can't go around that door. It's not the end of the world if you use them on skills now, but it would be better if you didn't. All right, and after that battle, let's see, we got a scorpion card that I'll give to uh, Henson there in just a moment. Let's see. But yeah, let's uh, let's not wait. Let's not do anything with that just right now. Hmm. Yeah, that ought to be good. I'll leave Spinel alone, though. I think she'll be fine. But I do want to make up, make a backup save file because I forget exactly when the next event pops up. I think it's coming up here soon. And it is! All right! Yeah, I thought it was right when that path started turning upward. What, what's over there? Oh, hey, is that like a, a statue or something? Huh. Yeah, I haven't seen anything like that. Hey, all right. Well, they're not going to be using it anymore. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Ha! <laughs> I forgot she said that there. Shut your mouth! So, can we start with a helmet or something? Uh-oh! Nuts. Of course the statue comes to life. Oh. Well, I could try sticking him with the sword. Who's the Felta? Run, run, or you'll be well done! Yeah, that's okay. We can take him. We'll take care of you. For boss time against the skeleton, or undead knight, I think. Yeah, skeleton knight, undead knight, same difference. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's just go with that for now. Whoa! Oh yeah, this guy is strong against darkness elemental attacks, so the Balak, not gonna be too useful for us here. But let's just go with our most powerful single targeting attack. Whoa, holy crap! Look at that damage! Game? We could use some help here! Game? Ow! Not be 
How are we supposed to beat this guy? Find out next time on Let's Play Crimson Gem Saga! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! This is Killian's fault. And they died.